Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris from Holy Eats. Hey, today I'm at Iowa State at the Memorial Union, just checking out the old stomping grounds. Like, now seriously, I came back here to tell you a story about false teachers. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. And like, this is a real story that happened to me. So, like two or three years ago, I'm not really sure, um, I was hanging out here and this group of people came in, right? And this dude, he came up to me and he said that he was a student here and he was doing some research and he wanted me to take a survey. So me being a nice guy, I'm like, all right, I'll do it. So I sit down and I'm looking through the questions and I'm like, you know, none of the answers look like they're here. You know, so I spend a lot of time with these and I'm like, huh, something's not right about this. But then I get to one of the questions and it's like, nah, like literally the answer's not there. But then the dude does something nuts. He looks at the survey while I'm taking it and then tries to help me answer the question. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Like this doesn't make any sense. Like anybody who knows anything about academic research knows that you can't interfere with the person that's doing the survey. It influences the results. So I'm like, mm, something's not right about this. So I go to the next question and I'm reading it and it says something about the bride that's mentioned in the Bible, right? So I clearly am like, like the answer is not here, dude. One of those situations again. But the dude explains to me, he's like, well, the group that he came in here with, he's like, they basically believe that there's another way to get to heaven, that you can get there through the mother. And he was thinking that this was the bride. Now I was like, uh, Holy Spirit was on red alert. I was like, this does not make sense. But what was messed up is I didn't exactly know what it was that I needed to say to correct this guy. I just knew it was wrong. Now the truth about what he was saying when he was talking about the bride is that's actually the church. It has nothing to do with the mother that he was telling me is another way that you could get to heaven. Now thankfully the Holy Spirit gave me discernment because if not, man, who knows like what would happen. And that's what the scary thing is. Is like That's why I'm telling you this story is that, you know, the, these people are really out there. They're really out there trying to, 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 to lead you astray. I mean, it's messed up, you know, and it can come and it's just smooth the way this guy came in with the conversation. I mean, like you wouldn't have thought there was anything wrong or, or anything messed up with the conversation. Clearly I sat down, you know, was willing to help him out. But then he's like, he switched it up on me and was like, dude, there's another way to get to heaven. I'm like, nah, come on, man. I don't play that. So I don't know. I really just wanted to tell the story just because, you know, it's real. You know, the Bible is true. Um, people are out there trying to lead you astray. So you got to be on guard. You have to know your word, you know, like, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed a little bit by the fact that I didn't know exactly what to say then. But, you know, I know now, you know, it, it just turned me on. Um, you know, and I also realized that you really do. You have to understand the word in order to combat in those situations. So, you know, if that's that's any advice I could give anybody, it's that. It's just make sure you know, know the word and, um, you know, so that way you can recite scripture in the time's coming. So, but anyway, um, that's all I got to say for this one. I'll be back soon with more Holy Eats as always. Until then, keep Christ first.